Hello and a warm welcome. It is brilliant to have you all join us today and what a huge audience. We're here to launch the next generation of heating and cooling innovation. And it's a key moment in the green heating revolution around how do we keep our homes and buildings cozy in winter and cool in summer beyond fossil fuels. But first, let's take a moment to reflect on what brought us here. Kenza are making great progress, but what are the challenges for them in the future? Kenza are the only British manufacturer of a full range of ground source heat pumps, so we supply them to all sorts of different markets, everything from schools, hospitals and housing, and within those there's all sorts of subsets, for example in the housing sector, we do a lot of work with local authorities and housing associations, right through to people who are doing a, a, a barn conversion or a self-build. Now we're seeing growth in all of those markets and some are going to move faster than others. Is it going to be lots and lots of very small heat pumps that will go into uh, mass social housing, or are we looking at huge plant room units so it's a big challenge for us but we're, we supply into all those markets and we're certainly capable of keeping pace with the market growth. Right. making harsh choices between whether you eat or heat. Or heat.
pump's made I'd say a really big difference because like heating wise we can put it on when we want it on and not have to wait like think flick a switch the night before and if you didn't you didn't have no heat really it's excellent like for us to save money and it's just economical as well for tenants residents and we're in a low income threshold here anyway so it's really good Hi everybody, it's great to be with you today. My name's Chris Stark. I'm the Chief Executive of the UK's Climate Change Committee. We're the UK's Climate Advisors. Now, if you're watching this today, it's not gonna be a surprise. Uh, we are in the midst of climate change. It is with us today, it is happening all around the world. We are seeing the impacts of climate change. And it's not a surprise that it's happening. It's happening because in the main, we're burning fossil fuels. That's the driver of the global economy. And we've been doing that now for well over 150 years. And the accumulation of all those emissions is what's driving the change that we're seeing in the climate today. It's a real problem. We're gonna to have to handle it. But something else is happening too. We're now on the cusp of the genuine energy transition away from fossil fuels to something cleaner. And we see that globally too. It may be this year, it may be next year, but at some point in the in next few years, we're gonna see the peak for our demand and our use of fossil fuels. And that is a different type of world. We're moving very swiftly now to a greener future. Now, our contribution to that greener future here in the UK is a target for net zero. Net zero is a very simple concept. It just means that we are putting up into the atmosphere as much as we take out. And net zero UK is our contribution to the global problem of climate change. But how do we get to net zero in the UK? Well, that's another challenge, and it's, of course, my job to advise on that. We've been doing pretty well on some aspects of that transition, notably how we generate electricity. Uh, we have been cleaning up the electricity system progressively now for several decades. There's still a bit to do on that job, but now we need to look beyond just renewables and just the way in which we supply electricity into how we might use it. You can see the glimmer of the transition happening in some other sectors, notably the transport sector. But one area where you really don't see it, certainly not as fast as we should, is in the buildings sector. Now, buildings are certainly one of the toughest challenges for net zero. They amount to about a fifth of the total emissions in the UK that we have today. And the challenge of getting off fossil fuels is a big one. Um, about 80% of buildings in this country are fueled and heated by fossil fuels. If we're going to tackle it, that means 30 million buildings or thereabouts, homes, buildings, places where you work, public buildings, all of them have to be decarbonized. And people like me often say that's a big challenge. It's a big problem for the country. But actually, I think we should be reframing that. We need to think of this as something that is tremendously exciting because it means we're going to be investing in communities, towns, villages and cities up and down the country as we decarbonize them. How do we decarbonize them? Well, it's actually deceptively simple. We need to make those buildings more energy efficient. That means they'll retain more heat. That means very simple things like home insulation. And then we've got to move to a different strategy, which ultimately is the one that matters most. We need to bring them a different source of heat. Now that challenge of decarbonizing heat is to me, the most important thing when it comes to the UK transition to net zero. And we've barely started on it. The central strategy is to use electricity instead of fossil fuels. And if we use that electricity, that makes so much sense because we're cleaning up the supply of it progressively right into the 2030s. And the most important technology of all when it comes to heating buildings into the future using that clean electricity is heat pumps. Heat pumps for the whole country would make a tremendous impact for all sorts of reasons. They're a hugely efficient way to use that electricity. But the challenge of rolling out heat pumps is one that we've barely started and one that's going to require a lot of planning and careful design. And in particular, in our towns and cities, our terraced houses, our flats, 
social housing, even new builds. We need a form of heat pump that will work for the people living in those buildings. We need people in those buildings living and working in those buildings, not to care too much about the technology itself, but simply to know that they'll be warm and toasty in those buildings as we decarbonize it. That's why this is such a really interesting day for me. Uh, Kenza, I think, have some of the most exciting technology and innovative approaches to how we might approach this challenge of buildings decarbonization. So at that stage, I think it's probably enough for me. I'm going to hand over to Tamsin, who's going to tell you a bit more about how Kenza see that challenge. Thank you, Chris. Powerful, optimistic, what a great articulation of the need to decarbonize heat, the challenges and the opportunities. At Kenza, our mission is to decarbonize our homes and buildings at scale. And we heard from Chris about the 30 odd million homes that we need to decarbonize in the UK. And that many of those are terraced houses, tenements, blocks of flats, tower blocks, what are often called complex to decarbonize. And that we need to find solutions for those as well as for new builds, properties, and many other types of properties. And that need to have a heat transition that's easy for consumers to make that switch, that does things in the most affordable and effective way, both for consumers and also for the UK energy system. Kenza was formed 25 years ago by Richard Freeborn and Guy Cashmore. In their own words, two blokes in a shed, taking heat pump technology from marine environment, from yachts, into the built environment in buildings. 11 years ago, Kenza designed and launched the shoebox, recognizing the need for a small, affordable heat pump to decarbonize heat in flats, tower blocks, and houses. And since then, Kenza's manufactured and installed thousands of shoeboxes, taking thousands of people out of fuel poverty. And what Kenza does is we use a concept called network heat pumps. We decarbonize homes at scale, tower block by tower block, blocks of flat by blocks of flat, street by street. And we drill boreholes in the ground, taking that heat from the ground throughout the year into people's homes, where then the Kenza heat pump takes that heat from the ground and boosts it with one unit of electricity, providing over four units of heat. And then the reverse in summer, taking that cool from the ground and keeping our homes cool. So if we go here, this is how it works. We can see here the boreholes taking that heat out through pipes, very similar to the gas grid, to consumers or people like us having a white heating box in our house. And the most look and feel like gas and this 21st century heating approach. Hello, my name is Harry Manisti. I work for Octopus Energy and we're really excited about backing Kenza to roll out their ground source heat pump solution across the nation's homes as we shift away from gas boilers to heat pumps as a mainstream heating solution. And together with a financing package from Octopus where we pay for the upfront cost and spread that over time uh, and a smart electricity tariff that Octopus can offer which allows heat pump customers to use the cheapest electricity possible to run their heat pumps. We're really confident this is going to be a compelling solution and we are really looking forward to help you roll this solution out across thousands and thousands of homes. Fundamentally, we want to invest in the right technologies and the right solutions that are going to be here. They're going to stand the test of time. And in 2050, they will still be delivering uh, zero carbon power, heat, mobility services uh, for consumers. Uh, ground source heat pumps and in particular, the networked ground source heat pump technology delivered by Kenza uh, has that potential. The biggest challenge that we have today is that whilst most people believe that they want to do something positive about climate change, they need to be really convinced that the alternative to their existing heating system is both going to be as efficient and effective as what they've currently got, but more importantly, that it's affordable. And that's why for me, ground source networked heat pumps is the answer because the expensive part which is digging the holes and digging the trenches is paid for by somebody else and the homeowner only has to pay a standing charge in the same way as they do today for a gas network and then the actual heat pump is an equivalent cost and works just as well as the existing 
pump they have or the existing boiler that they have, the difference is it saves a lot of carbon and helps with climate change. And we believe in Kenza, this is the solution to be able to decarbonize in the best way for consumers with most consumer choice, in the best way for consumers about the most affordable form of decarbonized heating. And again, looking at the benefits of the energy system. And we recognize the need to create solutions at scale, to decarbonize street by street, area by area. I am delighted to unveil the solution. The Shoebox NX, a compact powerhouse, allowing us to take decarbonisation of heat street by street, area by area across the UK. A triple plus efficiency. And what does that mean? It means the highest efficiency means the lowest bills to run it. Designed for both new build and retrofit, covering most of the UK's housing stock and a long life, 25 plus years life, and a whole bunch of other really cool stuff too. So for us heat geeks among us, a COP of 4.36, really quiet, as quiet as a fridge, so we won't hear it if it's in our kitchen cupboard or under the stairs. So what does this mean? For new house developers, the most efficient form of heating and cooling, lowest cost, lowest impact, and that high efficiency exceeding compliance needs. For social housing and local authorities, that opportunity to retrofit and do more to take people out of fuel poverty and again reduce bills with that high efficiency. For installers, 25 years of experience of installing heat pumps, meaning the NX is the easiest heat pump to install and again install at scale. And what about for us as consumers? That high efficiency resulting in the lowest bills and the most comfort for us. And what does it mean for the UK? In those days where we need to heat our homes the most, the efficiency of the NX will allow us to use less of the electricity from the grid. So again, best for everyone all around. Thank you all for joining us. We designed the Shoebox NX so that all of us could have a high performance heat pump no matter where we live. And we're so excited to have a solution to decarbonize heat street by street, area by area across the UK.